Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am in the middle of making some preparations for me going to uh, going, going to have quite a big surgery. Um, so I have sort of, for a long time, I've had to sit back and I've had to sort of endure quite a lot. But then when I sit and think about them, when you look at the people around you, your family, then you actually see them kind of change. Not towards you, but just to change because, of course, they're seeing you go through it as well. Now, my recovery is going to take quite a while, and on the back of that, I'm going to take a break from my channel. Having done this, or doing this, rather, I'm going to be sort of not missing events, but I'm not going to be at my best. But I, my channel is so much more to me than views and comments and sort of figures and sort of subscribers it's a place where i can relate it's a place where i can i can feel really positive and i can talk about things which worry and stress me sort of like the future sort of um issues such as is confidence and issues such as health and things which really really get, me, really get me down and worries and stresses for life where things aren't possibly coming together as quick as what I'd like them to. My twin brother will know exactly what I mean and this clip is all for him. <laughs> so me and my twin are really very close. Um, I never ever shorten my brother's name, it's Cameron, and it will to me always be Cameron. <laughs> but, very often, as we're twins, very often, going through things, he can very often get quite unwell at the same time if something is happening or if I'm going through an operation. Like, this is the fourth time. This is the fourth operation. I can only imagine what he'll be feeling like on the day. Now, we have, for a couple of years now, we've kind of almost gone back and forth where he's had different health problems and things and unfortunately there's been episodes and things where we've had to get ambulances and things for him and i've been to the hospital i don't even drive but I've, it's my foot i have to get there you have to get there so i've been there and then with me he's always been there alongside my mum with my operations as well now this time because of the covid measures that's not going to be able to happen so i know exactly how he's going to be feeling um and if you're watching this don't because it will be fine it will be absolutely fine but this clip is all about <laughs> yours and mine birthday um yeah strange isn't it so on the 2nd of july we will be turning 28 i know i know i know i don't fuck it <laughs> um but but you know what to be quite honest with you your 20s are a real difficult decade because, of course, you've got the pressures of getting the career together. You've got the pressures of finances. If you're still doing education, that's certainly costly. Cars, maintenance of vehicles. And my twin brother, he has a beautiful baby girl who was born at premature at only 28 weeks. So him and his partner have had a whole host of hurdles to jump through. But I am pleased to report my niece, his daughter is doing absolutely incredible, and I really don't think that there will be any issues at all to worry about in the future. She is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful little girl, and credit to my twin brother and his partner. So, very often Cameron worries. He worries. Very often he does. And if he could snap his fingers and have it all at once with a strong career, the big house, <laughs> the huge job title, he would wouldn't we all? But he beats himself up about it. And very often, I just wish I could kind of tell him that actually just stop and smell the roses. They're actually quite beautiful. And by saying that, I mean, slow everything right down. Treat every day as a gift. At the end of the day, after that day's over, we're never ever going to get it back. Write your story how you'd like to read it. And you know what? I have tried saying this, but I think when someone is in such a mindset and is so driven, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. And you know what? It's almost like that I'm telling myself this as well, because I am exactly the same. You would never, ever believe how alike we are, how alike we are. There are many things in this world which we see eye to eye on, and there are a few which we don't see eye to eye on. One thing which always draws us very close is 
family. We are very, very close uh, around our nan. She means the world to us, and we have many, many happy memories growing up, and even now, of spending time together with our nan looking after us. Um, we've had amazing, amazing upbringings with our parents. We have had a, a very privileged upbringing, and for that, we are both eternally grateful. And I have so many fantastic memories being together growing up. It's school. It was truly quite quite a laugh to be quite honest with you all of the time but my brother was he was the joker and i was the one what had to really really work hard but bearing in mind my brother worked really really hard we both did but he seemed to be able to enjoy things and sort of switch off from things whereas i didn't um and that's one of the things that when i look back on on my life already if i could and if i could go back it would be just to switch off a little bit and just to sort of enjoy those moments i did at times but not as much as what cameron did i have to admit but we both come out of school with fantastic grades and i'm, I'm really proud of him i'm really really proud of him what he's achieved he is an absolutely outstanding chef uh, and he's really really going places he really is and he is an amazing an amazing father and when i have children if i turn out as good as him then it will absolutely be a huge success but he's not just that he's a really good friend too he he makes me feel better about so much if i have a worry or a concern i have only got to pick up the phone whether it's six o'clock in the morning eleven o'clock at night or two in the morning and sometimes i get a short answer but i know if he's a bit short or if he's a bit stressed if i give it an hour i can almost watch the phone and he will call me back and he will say look brad i didn't mean to sort of say it like that or or and then we'll talk about it and then we will clear it up and you know what there's not many bonds which are as close in this world as twins we always have a bit of a joke because we always say we've been together for 27 years and still going strong and how funny is that because soon we'll be together 28 years and um yeah how funny is that and you get some people look at us and think what you what on earth are you on about well if you're a twin you will know because of course you develop together don't you you grow together throughout school you grow together you do your first milestones together your first sort of your your uh your college courses or whatever you you, you chose to do or anything and cameron chose very very different careers for example cameron fantastic absolutely in my in our family myself my twin brother my mum my nan culinary good really really good real strong level um fantastic my mum fantastic um fantastic what am i trying to say fantastic sort of cookery skills fantastic cook my nan exactly the same but that that home style whereas my brother is just absolutely out of this world what he can what he can put on a plate some artists couldn't paint and 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 he's done incredibly well he really really has so he chose his culinary field as a chef and you know what he has got an amazing amazing talent i went on into sort of business finance um that that type of area um loved banking absolutely love love banking and i had a role for five years in retail banking and then i decided to do what my passion is um in accountancy and finance and um I, i'm now in that area so i have done all, all lots of different qualifications in finance and accountancy and uh and business and, and management and and that's been great cameron has really specialized in his uh in his culinary career and testament to him because he is absolutely incredible and he he deserves everything he deserves the world and more um and you know what more so when you when when we approach our birthday it always makes me think have i have i have i done enough am i successful is everything going okay and i think everybody asks these questions and your 20s are so pressured and i and i truly do believe that i mean for me right now i'm going through health problems and things is the last thing i needed of course it's the last thing anybody needs but i'm trying to sort of buy my first house i'm trying to get everything in order um and i want the the house the amazing wife the amazing family um and that lovely beautiful connection that bond with um 
with that special lady. But of course, all these things take time. Um, and and yeah, and yeah, and you know what? I would have this life no other way because it's not a race, but it's a game. It's like a long, long game of monopoly living life with my twin brother. It really, really is. Um, different things crop up, but we support each other, which you should always do. Um, if anything happens, I'm there to support him. He's there to support me. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've seen how, um, I mean, you've got to remember, my twin brother has seen me from being well to now not really being able to walk around very well at all. Um, and I don't suppose I really appreciated what that has an effect. I have for my parents. I, I'm very open and I talk to my parents all the time. We're very, very close. Um, like my best friends, and um, and they have really understood, and they've and they've been there, and they've seen it, and I've and I've seen it with them. Um, again, my my nan has seen, but bless her, because she has Alzheimer's, it's it's very different again. But I know she's there, and I know she loves me, and I know she's always there for me. But with my twin brother, it's it's sort of like because almost we're we're at par, and we're sort of going through this life at that, that same level. When I think he's here and you see me sort of slowing off course and having to deal with all these health problems, it's not great. Um, and I can only imagine what that must be like. It really is because he, when he's been ill before and I've seen him and he's been in a hospital and all that before, you give anything to put somebody back right. You really do. Um, yeah, that's tough. So I think what I'm trying to sort of get here is on my channel, I family mean everything to me and i would hate to come back after my health problems after having had this operation and taking a break from my channel if i didn't have anything for this milestone for this this sort of momentous day of my brother my brother's birthday which is of course my birthday as well so at the moment i'm hoping we can do something i'm really really hoping we can do something when i look back on this i really hope that it is um that i'm in i'm I'm able to enjoy the day because it's not going to be long after me having this big operation. That's going to be different different anyway. Um, usually we, we usually like the big sort of lavish meals and we go out with family and, and things that way. But um, you never know, hopefully it can happen this year. Hopefully it can. But what I want to say to my brother is that we're going to be 28. It's been 28 years of absolutely having a blast. It's been absolutely incredible up until now and i'm sure it will be for the rest of our lives in eternity because that's what you get for being a twin <laughs> but um you mean the world to me and i absolutely think you're incredible keep doing what you're doing but turn down the pace on life and just enjoy it a little bit more because don't let several years go by and look back and think i really wish i would have enjoyed those years a little bit more i know what you're thinking i think often as well but just perhaps think about it. Okay, so this sort of future clip is for you and for me for <laughs> putting sort of this, this sort of theoretical sort of stance away in time that this was for our birthday. So a very, very happy 28th birthday to you, Cameron, and I love you, and you are a super cool dude and an incredible role model. So, okay, so hopefully I'll be seeing you on the day, and of course I'll be seeing you lots before then, but this is just to celebrate, and just to have that poignant moment, just to have that little bit of celebration to say happy birthday, and I hope our 28th year will be amazing and bring lots of amazing and all those things which we've worked so hard for. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much indeed for sharing this with me, and until next time, please... Where was I? Okay, so <laughs> I hope before we go that you all join me in wishing my twin brother Cameron a very, very happy 28th birthday. And of course me, because it's my birthday too. <laughs> Alright, okay, so... Thank you very much indeed for watching, and until next time, when I'm hopefully back, I'm hopefully back, and then we can start pushing on with my channel, and I can start answering all your comments, and showing some appreciation for all my amazing views and subscribers. So thank you very much, so until next time, 
We will see you then. Bye-bye now.